Algebra 2, this is Chapter 7, Section 3. This will be the third of four example problems I do. And so this one, uh, we need to break it up and make it into a quadratic form. So this will be x to the um, one-third. And we take that and we're going to square it. And then minus 6, and that's going to be x to the one-third. And then plus 5 equals 0. And I'm going to look at this thing and say, again, I like factoring because factoring is easy. Are there factors of 5 that would add to get you 6? And yes, 5 and 1. So that makes this x to the 1 -third, And it's going to be minus 5. And then x to the 1 -third minus 1. And then from there, I can use the fact that when you multiply the two numbers together and they equal to 0, one of them has to be 0, the 0 property. And so that makes this x to the 1 third minus 5 equal to 0. So that makes this x to the 1 third equal to a positive 5. And then the opposite of taking it to the 1 third power, or cube rooting, is to cube. So I'm going to cube this side. And I'm having definite mouse issues today. Cube this side. So that becomes an x. And 5 cubed is 125. And that gets us one side all the way done. Now we can do the other side. So again, x to the 1 third minus 1 equals 0. So x to the 1 third equals 1. And then we're going to cube both sides to get x by itself. And so x is equal to 1. And those would be our two answers in this case. And then you'd want to go back and check them and make sure they work in the original equation. So if you take um, 125 and put it to the 2 thirds power, and then you subtract 6 times um, is it, uh, 125 to the 1 third power, and then you add 5, you end up with something that's basically, mine says 1e negative 12, which means 1 times 10 to the negative uh, 12th power, which is basically 0. It just has rounding issues because we're dealing with um, cube rootings and, and numbers that aren't going to work out quite well. Um, if you, but it does, it is 0. And then you could try 1. 1's the other one. So 1 to any power is 1 minus 6 would be at negative 5, and then plus 5 would be back to 0, so that one works also.